welcome. What should I do? Here we go. I'll give it my all. I stand ready. Ready. I'm on it. I'll go. I have improved. You're out of luck. Whoops. Oh well. Stay focused. <laughs> that is that. I'm not setting a very good example. Cut through. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. It seems I've improved.
as expected. Magnificent. A threat eliminated. What's done is done. Each battle, a chance to grow. Why am I even here?
My thanks. Thank you. Sufficient. I suppose I've improved. I will get stronger still. That one is expected. Can't afford to lose. Aw, this stinks. to be done. It's just not my day.
be gone. I like how this feels. Caution. As expected. Another step forward. Did you want something? I see. If you have the time, then please assist me. I am to water the flowers in the greenhouse. Thank you. Only do not water the ones in that corner. They are from Dusker. They require a dry environment. The roots will rot otherwise. That is what makes them worthwhile. I owe you a debt of gratitude. In both the extracurricular activities here at the Academy and on the battlefield, 
Your presence has been instrumental in the defense of His Highness. You have my sincerest thanks. I see. Was there something else you wanted? Then please, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I ran as fast as I could. Thanks. Hmm, the taste of relaxation. <laughs> right. Wow. Hmm, the taste of relaxation. Do you really have time for this? I know how busy you are. Ah. ah, I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. Thanks. The goddess's right of rebirth is finally here. Let's move ahead with our plan. Leave it to me. Professor, are you in as well? We've narrowed down their objective. Kind of. So, let's show everyone that we can carry out our duties better than anyone. 
We are counting on you, Professor. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's rite of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flane, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. It's time. All right. Let's stick to the plan and go hide where we can watch over the entrance to the Holy Mausoleum. If anyone suspicious enters, we'll follow them in and take them down. Got it? Welcome! It is as we suspected. The enemy is within. Oh, those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. The enemy is after the casket of Saint Seros. Do they intend to steal her bones? We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. But look closely at the ground. There are contraptions of some sort in place. We'll have to look closely at the enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from the best positions possible. Ready. weren't ready. I'll give it my all. What should I do? 
I stand ready. I'm on it. Here we go. I'll cut through. Here goes. I'll go. Stay focused. <laughs> Who's next? Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands, or waste my time on weaklings. That knight looks like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly.
You never had a chance. Is this a joke? It all makes sense now. What's next? Yeah, thanks so much. Should I have held back? Too easy. Threat eliminated. Over already. I must keep aiming higher.
What's done is done. A change for the better. Why am I even here? I can feel the difference. Had to be done. Not good enough. Use caution. The reinforcements haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. That one is expected. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah! 
Each battle a chance to grow. I'm not setting a very good example. Still serve. Cut through. Stand down. Is that all? Proceed with caution. Let us be cautious. Well.
That's how it goes. There's so much left to learn. Ha! You're a big help. You're too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. I must stay focused. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. It's no use. The seal is broken. You can't... Huh? A sword. sword is... I see. What a pleasant surprise. He got away. We have no choice but to let them go for now. Professor, the way that sword is glowing, I wonder... Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You. Round up any stragglers. Will do. Thank you so much. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. 
the attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Saros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Saros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrig Mach. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the Kingdom's most impressive fortress, Arian Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea, and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodland and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm... They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. 
As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Kat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own.
Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. Professor, this is Rodrigue. He's an old friend of my father's. Some of my earliest memories include this fellow. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. Ha <laughs> ha! You flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Rodrigue? 
Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Thank you. A stone? A stone. Yet as I think of it, the pounding in my- But is that me? Hmm. Your Highness, the hour is late. May I ask where it is you're going? I'm off to the library for a bit of research before I train. After that, a bath and bed. Very well. I shall accompany you. Uh, no. There's no need for that. I am a grown man, after all. You sustained an injury during yesterday's training. My presence may be of use to you. It was a mere bruise that will heal in no time. No need to fret over me to do. Are you dissatisfied with me, Your Highness? Please do not hesitate to correct me. And there it is again. Yes? What is it? Well, you often choose to address me as Your Highness. When we first met, you used to call me by my name. That was because I was unfamiliar with Fodlin's speech. Thinking back, such rude manners were inexcusable. To be honest, I much preferred it. I feel more comfortable being addressed by my name, rather than with the honorifics that go along with being a prince. But... I did not teach you to read and write so that you'd know how to address me properly. And I brought you to the Academy as my friend, not a vassal. But your highness, a vassal is precisely what I am. So much has happened since we met, yet we cannot seem to bridge this gap. So be it. I give you leave to return to your quarters. Take an early night and reflect on what I've said. Please. I couldn't possibly. I said I would accompany you, did I not? True. But I would much prefer that we take steps to ease this mindset of yours. Are you injured? 
No. Good. I'd have cut my way through, alone, without your assistance. My apologies. Your apologies are empty. I... I spoke out of turn. I'm sorry, Dudu. His Highness has put his faith in you. You're a valuable comrade, no matter my feelings. I... the people of Dusker... Save your breath. There were countless people like you in the capital. People who spat, threw things, insults and stones alike, whenever they pleased. Their anger was natural. I do not begrudge them. I... I see. You owe me no apology, and I will keep my distance on all other occasions. But on the field of battle, allow me to aid you. If you were to fall, His Highness would grieve. I see. Then I will accept your help, on the battlefield. Understood. Here you go, Felix. Have some tea. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, but we're all out of cakes. Should I bake some more? Please, don't. Oh, your clothes are so dirty. Let me wash them for you. Mercedes, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just making tea. Is there something wrong with that? You're not my mother. You don't have to bother with all this. I can do without it. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You just remind me so much of my little brother. I do? Yes, his name is Emil. We have different fathers, but we grew up in the same household. That is, until I was about eight or nine years old. I haven't seen him since then. Sorry to state the obvious, but I'm not your brother. I'm not Emil. Can't you find someone else to bother? I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. Please help yourself to more tea if you'd like. I can leave the pot. Goodbye. I am me, Felix Hugo Fraldarius. There is no one else. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Thank you for sparring with me, Your Highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now. He never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. 
I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. <laughs> One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny! My granny! Come on! I was eight and she was gore... That was a long time ago! Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were ten, we went to that harvest festival, and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were fifteen, you sought, relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me. Always for you. Every. Time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? Hey Felix, you free? You don't look very busy. Let's go find some girls to chat with. Chat with them by yourself. You're interrupting my training. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that. How long have we known each other? Long enough, if you ask me. We only know each other because of our parents' friendship. I didn't have a say in it. Is that how it went? Huh. I remember it more like you always following me around. Whenever there was something wrong, like you lost to your brother, or you fought with Dimitri, you'd come crying to me. You were so meek and pure back then. Cute even. Like a baby brother. And that's enough. What? I said that's enough! Hey, sorry. I just came to see if you wanted to pick up some girls. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. Look, you've been getting on my nerves for years. I've tried to be patient with you, but I'm tired of holding my tongue. You're reckless in your personal affairs and in battle, and you're always prattling on about women. Well, if a man sees a pretty girl, he can't just let her pass by without commenting. That's just rude. You're insatiable. Do you ever stop? Certainly not to practice your sword technique. You always skip training. And you never consider how your actions hurt others. Or how you hold them back. That's never my intention. Come on. Y you know me better than that. I'm not really... Look. If that's the impression I've given you, then I'm sorry. Hmm.
Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. I hope I'm not interrupting. Felix, you weren't listening, were you? I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. You have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. You're evil, Felix! And you're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! It's not right! I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Oh, this is so embarrassing. And of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. That food song seemed to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart after all. Oh, you're the worst! Huh. What was that about? I better water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. <laughs> Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said the... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm... And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just pick this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, It'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Hey, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. <laughs>